Uh, hi, I'm Andy Cobbett. I'm the Chief Information Security Officer for the Corporate Functions at BP. So I guess I got into security by accident. Um, when I was a teenager, loved to know how things worked, uh, got interested in computing, was pretty much self-taught, uh, and then managed to get a place at York University doing a degree in computer systems and software engineering. Graduated and then got a job with uh, a large UK software house in their uh, security evaluation facility that was testing uh, the security of products for use in the government sector. So that really was kind of my first foray into security. Um, I then was very lucky to get a comment to California uh, just as the internet boom was happening and kind of foresaw that security was going to be much bigger and broader than just government and finance. Um, and then uh, came back, uh, got myself a new role with one of the big six uh, consultancies. Um, and really that opened my eyes to the fact that security is not just a technical issue, it needs to be thought of in terms of business as well. Um, and then from there, moved to BP and have never looked back. Uh, a typical day for me, a large part of my role is to the win hearts and minds of people in BP and to get them to take cyber security seriously and incorporate it in what they do. So a lot of what I do is to uh, work with senior business leaders to get them to understand what the risks are uh, to BP and to ensure that we then put the right protections in place. So I have a team of people who uh, work with our various IT projects to make sure that we build our new IT systems securely. Um, once those systems are built, we also need to make sure that they continue to remain secure. So we need to inspect them periodically. Um, because if you take your eye off the ball, that's when the security weaknesses come in. So I think really my role, probably two things if I were to try and sum it up. Firstly, it's to take this very complex uh, and rapidly evolving subject that is cybersecurity and convey it in a way that senior business leaders can understand. Uh, and secondly, it's to provide the leadership so that BP does the right thing and has the right security protections in place. So for me, there's three great things about my job. Uh, firstly, it's hugely varied and it's certainly never dull. Uh, secondly, I've been really lucky and I've been able to travel all across the world, right from the middle of the Sahara Desert up into the Arctic Circle. And then the third thing is I'm really lucky to be able to work with some very passionate people. Um, what we do, everybody takes is really important. So unlike the die-hard films where when the cyber criminals attack, Bruce Willis will swing into action, there isn't a Bruce Willis, it's us. Um, worst bits of the role, uh, I guess the threat never goes away, and I guess sometimes the odds are stacked against us. But I could actually conversely say that's what makes the role interesting. So as John F. Kennedy once famously said, we, do, we choose to do these things not because they're easy, but because they are hard. Uh, so cybersecurity is now very firmly in the mainstream news. Um, quite often I'll pick up stories uh, directly from the BBC website in the first instance. Um, I find uh, there's a website, nakedsecurity.com, uh, sorry, nakedsecurity.sophos.com, which is also another really good resource. And then... Um, there are some really good annual uh, cybersecurity surveys available from HP, PwC and the Department of Innovation and Skills. I would say certainly go for it. Um, it's been, for me, a really rewarding career. Um, uh, this time, uh, companies are really beginning to take cybersecurity as a, uh, a serious risk. Um, and the demand for talented people in the security profession has never been greater. So uh, where would I go? Uh, if you're thinking of doing maybe a, a, a degree, um, then have a look at the Institute of Information Security Professionals website and you can find the universities that are uh, offering uh, courses in this area. Um, a number of companies are now beginning to look to offer cybersecurity apprenticeships, so that's another avenue if you uh, don't necessarily want to go to university. Um, uh, alternatively, a cybersecurity challenge is another great way of getting involved.